and welcome to Two Mums and a Camera. Today, we are going to discuss a very important topic. It is what not to buy your mother slash wife for Christmas. Slash girlfriend. Slash girlfriend slash whatever. What not to buy the woman in your life. Correct. Because this is very, very important. If you don't get the right thing, it's it's it could make your life not so good. So we're gonna help you out. But we're drinking champagne because it's Christmas. That's so perfect. cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. So we made a list because we're very organized. Nikki made that a way. list. Well, these things are important to me. The first thing that you absolutely do not give the lady in your life is any kind of cooking or cleaning device. Because that does not say I love you. So the blender I got for my birthday is wrong? No, okay. <laughs> now I'm gonna talk about some do's. And, and when I get to the do list, one of them is if someone's passionate about, about something, well about cooking or smoothies right. or working out, if that's your passion, then that's a different story. I'm talking about in general, okay? okay? So I don't want a frying pan for Christmas and I don't want a new mop or a, the newest vacuum because that's a household expense that is in the budget for cleaning and cooking. That is not, that does not say I love you. No? No, definitely not. So anything, this is Nikki's list by the way, anything <laughs> exercise or low fat. So if it is to trim a waistline or a gym membership, or you buy low fat recipes or anything like that. That does not, not yeah, a good idea. that does not say I love you. Unless your loved one has specifically requested right. something like that in the form of a Christmas wish list or something like that, then you're safe to do that. That says you're getting a little chubby and I think that you should have something that helps you out. Yeah. That does that. not say I love you. And no. I think that that is a big no. Right. Um, okay. so. This one here is from experience. Guys, do not get your lady swimwear or lingerie no. unless she has picked it out and has told you exactly what to buy. And I'll tell you what, my wonderful husband one year decided that he was going on a trip and he bought me back a bikini. And I know in his head, he thought this would look fabulous on me. But when I tell you the bottom did not fit, I mean the I bottom did not fit. She it was, was so traumatized she never even told me. I was very traumatized <laughs> and it was like a candy floss. I mean, I would have had to have surgery to remove it if had I put it on. it on or got it on. And he was so excited to give it to me. I'm so excited to see me in it. And I was like, that the, the problem is, is that if you buy lingerie, like in a lot of things, I'm a size, I'm a large, like, and I don't consider myself large, but if you look at underwear or something, I prefer to be comfortable. I right. often buy a size large. And we have larger butts but to be proud of. Do them. I want my husband to go into a store and buy me a large lingerie? I don't know. Like, it's kind of awkward and, and it becomes then he might buy a size smaller because he might think, well, honey, you're not large. You're a medium, right? And then when you struggle to put it on, it, beca it it's just an awkward scene. And instead of the romantic bow chicka wow wow kind of moment. moment that he was expecting, there's tears. Trust me, I've been there. You're frustrated. Yeah. The whole swimsuit thing has scarred me for life. Right. Because I felt like I was not good enough to be in the garment that he Chose. liked. The pain is real, so just don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. Don't do it. Avoid Tell it. Tell everyone. Yes. And the final one is any kind, anything that you buy on a weekly basis on your grocery list. <laughs> chocolate, definite in my home, dark chocolate. Wine, we buy that every week. <laughs> That's not special. No. I, I'm not happy or excited about that. That's the grocery list. So don't give it to me for Christmas because I'm not going to. I like nice chocolate in my uh, stocking. Okay, but let's, okay. But it's certainly not Kit Kat. No, it's British chocolate. Right. You go to the British store and buy Cadbury's chocolate from England. Right. Hint, hint. Exactly. Mine, my chocolate love is Godiva. So if you want to make me really happy, you're gonna splurge on Godiva for me. 
I don't want the Kit Kat or Bounty Bar <laughs> or, sorry Kit, or yeah. anything that is on the grocery aisle because that's not special to me. So I feel like if you're going to go above and beyond, that's different. Okay, so I have a one more what not to buy. One year, my husband bought me, and I kid you not, crest white strips for <laughs> my teeth. <laughs> that's he, awesome. He wrapped it up in this lovely little box that kind of <laughs> looked like a jewelry box. Like I was expecting, uh, I was expecting a oh, necklace oh. or um, a bracelet or something. But no, I got pressed white strips. You know why I got? <laughs> So we were rudely interrupted before, I'm sorry. My husband, who gave me the Crest White Strips, came in. Arrived. And antagonized poor Winnie, who... Anyway. Then we had to stop filming. Might I recommend you don't buy your significant other Crest White Strips or any kind of tooth whitening device That does Christmas. not say I love you. That no, says, that says your you're teeth not are yellow. Enough. You're not good enough. And you know what happened? He actually wanted them. <laughs> That's why he thought he would buy them for me so that we could both use them. That's even worse. Yeah, that, okay. that's never a good idea. So we're I'm gonna, to we're gonna quickly say what to buy because we don't want to make this all negative. We want to give you some stuff that you do have on your list that you can buy. So right. any, for me personally, anything that sparkles is good. But let's make it clear. Anything that you wouldn't go out and buy for yourself is always good. Something that you wouldn't splurge on is always good. Um, something comfortable that says, I wanna crawl in, up with this. <laughs> I wanna <laughs> crawl up you, no. I <laughs> wanna crawl in. <laughs> Let's take a crawl. Up. I just wanna crawl. I'm just gonna crawl. I wanna crawl up with this and be curl up. up. Curl up. <laughs> crawl up. Curly things are just creepy. I want to curl up with this and chill. Like so, a blankie? Blankie, a nice robe, nice slippers, that's all good. So that that is a good thing. And finally, something that you're really passionate about. So if I love books and I love to read, I'm going to love getting a book. Yeah. Or if I'm a triathlete, which I'm clearly not, <laughs> then I'm going to want something, a, a new bag or a gym something. I, it just, it's important that you know the person you're buying really? for and make it real and personal. So I would like to say one thing. This year was the first year I actually wrote a list of things that I would like because I have kids that are buying for me and my husband and that. And I gave him a list of some books that I really liked. Um, he's not going to buy them all, but he'll maybe get one or two of them. And also some other gift ideas. I'm not opposed to writing a list. I'm not going to get everything on that list, but if there's certain things that I wouldn't go out and buy for myself because it feels too indulgent or mostly because it feels too indulgent, you know, that's the kind of thing to ask people to get you for Christmas. Lists are good. Lists are really good. I never used to think so, but I've gone over to the dark side. I've gone to the list side now. Lists are convenient too, yeah. so that's always a good thing. So, happy shopping. Happy shopping ho, ho, ho. and good luck with Merry all Christmas. that. No crest white strip. Wow. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.